Good day. All of the personal readings except for one have been completed, waiting on questions. And um, if you're interested in a reading, my information is in the description box. No. Oh my God. Please ignore my children in the background. They're being rather annoying today. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, and they've been up since 6.30. <laughs> and they're rambunctious, so. Okay, yeah, I sound so enthused. <laughs> All right, so what is, I am going to do the other cards too, but we're just going to do a slight check-in. What's going on with the feminine energy? At a crossroads. And feeling guilty about something and very guarded. Could be in a separation right now. Okay. <clears throat> Where is the feminine headed? Where is divine feminine headed? Forgiving a water sign and forming a solid foundation. Someone could be watching you who's a twin. They could be getting messages in your dream in their dreams about um, about you. They're very resistant to the connection, or they are guarded. They they're lacking in strength. Any clarity around this person? Oh my God! Listen to your intuition about this. This is a storm. This person is toxic. This is this person is this person wants to come back in, but this person is toxic. They live from their shadow. They may not even be your twin. They could the water sign could be your twin and they could be watching you in your journey. This person is definitely toxic though. They're obsessed, wanting to come towards you. Any clarity about who this person is? Someone from your past. Ancestors are guiding you to release this person because they live from their ego. 1,000%. It's an air sign. They taught you something, though. They taught you your self-worth and what to expect. And this created stability for you. And at what po one point you may have wanted them, but uh, I think they're a false twin because there was something about this person you believed that was false. But their cold and detached energy, their rejection of you changed you and got you to this point here. Yeah, this could have been a past life connection, definitely. Past life relationship here. Some of you, it could be your twin. Others, it isn't, right? But even if it is your twin, this person is not making the right decision. At the end of the day, take away the label this person is living from ego and they're toxic. Do you want that? Do you want to be with that person? Mm -mm. All right. What is going on in the masculine? What is going on with the masculine? What is going on with the masculine? Completing cycles. Spying on somebody here. Oh my God. Spying. Oh, my God. You can't even make this shit up. Spying on their twin. Getting clarity around some kind of truth, um, creating self-love. It has something to do with their self-love. So they're spying on their twin, but it's giving them some kind of clarity about how they need to create self-love within themselves. Okay. They could have been suffering in the past, and this was really causing a lot of conflict with them. Definitely in regards to someone that's at a distance from them. That also helped them 
it's helping them to realize their self-worth. I'm getting twin flame energy here. I'm getting twin energy for sure. But remember, you guys may not end up together in this lifetime. Like, what is the future? What is the future for this particular masculine or these masculines? Masculine. <laughs> Take care of yourself. What's coming? Take action to release. What does this masculine need to release? Control. Ego. Your fear and limitation. Take off the mask. It's something that you believe that is not true and it's causing you to be cold and detached and potentially not message someone or ignoring someone. You're getting clarity over something, over a change. Getting clarity over a change is what you're getting right now. Ooh, getting clarity over a change of you needing of you needing courage to change, transformation, courage to change. <laughs> so you may have realized or you could be realizing very soon that the way that you've been living is not your destiny. This is your comfort zone. So this is your south node. This is the wrong road. Okay? And now you're going to go through a feeling of guilt like, oh, my God, I sabotaged my freaking destiny. It's because of your ego. Because you love living in this ego place. But whatever this realization is, is going to be a gift for you to realize. Good karma is going to come in and balance this. So what's coming in to balance this? Your twin. Creating self-love. Could be an earth sign here. Um... You could have been avoiding this person for a long time. Um, but I feel like now you're expressing your truth and you're making an offer, a love offer, right? Talking about things that you regret, okay? I feel like you felt rejected by this person and this caused you to be in this double energy here. Be open to receiving growth. Okay. With your feminine. You may continue to be triggered, but always listen to your higher self. Okay. Yeah. There is a faded reunion coming back. There will be a faded reunion. Okay. So what's the outcome of this? I don't know why they want. They're wanting to tell you the outcome. Forgiveness from the past. Chemistry and passion. Forming a solid foundation with this person. Raising vibration. You will make the right decision by ending a karmic contract and creating stability with yourself. And this is going to be to really um, be about what your expectations are, what you're willing to give someone else, and what your self-worth is, right? And this has everything to do with healing your inner child. And you're no longer doing third-party energy anymore either. This is also something that you've said, I'm not doing. This is a change. You could definitely be an air sign because your ancestors are guiding you into union. Okay. So what is coming in as a block for the feminine? What is a block? What may be a block for the feminine? What may be a block? 
something about what there's something that you keep remembering about an awakening about your awakening that is a block any clarity around this around their awakening in a block you are an earth sign okay anything else You are a feminine. This is a block. Any more clarity around this? Block. There was something going on that was a t that was toxic. That was fated to happen. You need to forgive this person. Could be a Libra. Why you may not the block is you don't forgive them. Why don't so why is this blocking? Because this person, you may keep thinking that this person is your person, but it's not. They want you to take they want you to stop believing this because this is going to be very this is going to be very important on the decision that you make i think you think this is your person but they're it's not okay they may have been your person at one point if you if you didn't awaken and you were going down this path the ego path the wrong way the south node this would have been your person but you've changed they want you to know that remove the false mask so you can make the right decision but in order to do that, you have to forgive this person. Like, forgive them for they know not what they do. Something like that, okay? It's just that they're toxic. They could be in a relationship with a water sign and they're controlling. What is the water control here? Cold and detached. This person is very cold. This person could be a karmic person. Like, they could be a Plutonian person. That's a karmic. So, <clears throat> I hate to say this, but um, you could be a karmic person for someone. So, normally Plutonian people are karmic energies, okay? You can see that on your birth chart. Not saying that you'll never have you don't have a life partner if you're a Plutonian person, but normally you are the bringer of change. You are someone who creates change for other people, but you also change yourself, right? I definitely feel like you could be attached to a water sign and you are, this is a karmic energy. Yeah, you're supposed to change. Pluto, growth. See, I told you. Change. There's something about this change. Okay, so who is this person's, so who is this person supposed to end up with? This person could have been going through a dark night of the soul for a very long time. This is why they for rejected go building something solid. They're going to have a reunion with their twin. It doesn't have to be this complicated. <laughs> Okay, what is the block for the Divine Masculine? What is the block for the Divine Masculine? Something that you're dreaming. I feel like you keep having these dreams and they're confusing you. I just poured my coffee all over me. How weird is that? Like, it literally just dumped on me. Like, I was trying to drink it, and it just dumped all over me. Freaking weird. 
you're getting messages in your dreams about something that is fated to occur. What is the thing that's fated to happen? And this is coming in, this is blocking you. Okay, so you're dreaming about ending a karmic connection. You know this is coming, but this is coming in as a block. You're like watching it play out, I feel. Remember to keep your energy up so that you can build a solid foundation with your feminine. Your fear of divorce is limiting you from union. Or you could be scared that your feminine is not going to get divorced. This could be triggering you. Because you want a reunion. You are definitely separated from this person. You are doing some healing work. Because you want to build a solid foundation with this person. But you're not together yet. Okay, so what is the sign of this person? What's this sign? There's a lot of guilt. You're confused. You're resisting this confusion. You may not even want, be wanting to think about this. You're like, I'm not even thinking. This is just too stressful for me. You need to release this and be open to receiving. You're, you're very cold. You need to be open because you are in your ego right now. You're at a pivotal point in your life. You're at a crossroads, just like the Divine Feminine. You need to start messaging and talking about new opportunities. But you're not because you're guarded and you're trying to control the situation. Change this so that you can have what you want. Listen to your higher self and get out of your head. That's your comfort zone. Then you'll have clarity over this other person. You are working on self-worth. You could be an air sign and a water sign. You could be an air sign attached to a water sign. There's something false that you believe. You're building self-worth. I feel like you're closing cycles with an earth sign. You could be attached to an earth sign who is a karmic. There, you regret something with this earth sign. You regret being dark with them or hiding from them. Yeah, you are deceptive. You regret deceiving. You regret deceiving this person. You rejected them, or you may have felt rejected by them, so that's why you deceived them. But now I feel like you need to focus on changing. This will change by the fall. Increasing your vibration. I feel like you guys are going to start mirroring each other. So your vibration will increase. If you have been very low vibrational, this will change. All right. So now I'm going to get cards for both energies. Um, for both, both counterparts, but both energies. So... All of us could um, potentially resonate with both of these cards because we all we are a part of our counterpart. We are, in essence, the same person, and we all have masculine and feminine energies within us. So, I mean, we could potentially resonate with both. So this is for Divine Feminine. Rebuilding new foundations. I would like to start over, would you? That's a message from to the Divine Masculine from the Feminine, okay? She would like to start over with you. Would you build a brand new house on an old crumbled foundation? 
Your connection can be rebuilt, but in order to be solid, it would have to be built on a new and sturdy foundation. For now, try to let go of what was. It all happened for good reason. Allow growth in all directions. Hold on a second. Thank God. Embrace the learning, the opportunity, and most importantly, the present moment. Focus on rebuilding your own house right now. The rest will follow. So basically cut off that codependent energy, right? Focus on building your own house. You're a house. Divine Masculine is a house. You have to worry about your house first. Then y'all can bring the houses together, right? You got to fix your house first. If you're the wood and there's termites all in it, and he's the concrete, and you left the lid off of it, and it's all dried up, that ain't going to work. <laughs> Message for Divine Masculine. Separation. It hurts to be apart from you, but maybe it's best right now. The separation is an illusion, but it sure feels and seems real, doesn't it? It doesn't have to hurt. Try accepting and embracing it for what it is, an opportunity for soul growth for both masculine and feminine. It's an opportunity to work through every trigger and every emotion you've encountered this far on this journey and clear it up. Heal it up and raise it up. The illusion of separation will end when you've done the work, both masculine and feminine. So again, work on your houses. Um, obviously, you needed to be apart in order to do this. Feel it, heal it. Evolve. <laughs> I was trying to be witty, but it didn't work. <laughs> All right, so that is what I have for you guys today.